this is bad. I mean, if you thought beta 4 of macOS Big Sur was bad, wait till you see beta 5. This is me basically telling you, don't update to macOS Big Sur beta 5 if you haven't yet done so. That's a good thing, cause you know, there's quite a number of issues. It's crazy. It's like when updating from beta 4 to beta 5, it's like you're updating in reverse and so many issues, no airdrop. The Mac typically restarts like every 20 or so seconds. I mean, it's crazy. We actually need an update and we need it as soon as possible. So. If it's your first time watching, hit subscribe and yeah, let's get into it to see when the next macOS Pixel update, which is macOS Pixel Beta 6 is coming out because we actually need it and I think we need it so bad because Beta 5, it's a no-go man, it's a no-go, it's crazy. So when it comes to macOS Pixel Beta 6, we can expect it as early as tomorrow the 25th and if it doesn't happen tomorrow, then expect it between the 26th and the 27th. The developer beta is expected to come out first and then a day or a few hours after that, the public beta of macOS Pixel Beta 6 will be released. This is what most people want. And also not only that, but we're getting closer and closer to the final release date for macOS Pixel. So if Apple was to stick to their two week release cycles that we we've seen with these releases I, mean, I think we'll die man it's crazy because beta 5 it's actually so bad so we expect it this week as early as tomorrow but if apple decides to stick to their two week cycle and delay it for another week then we could see it as late as the first of september I really hope that that does not happen now when it comes to the official release date for macOS pixel which is not a beta the official release version we can somewhat expect it on the 17th of of September. The reason I say this is because on the 18th of September we are actually expecting some new hardware. We're expecting to see a new Apple Watch Series 6 and perhaps the new 8th generation iPad. So if that does happen, usually a day before that Apple releases like all the software versions that were in the beta stages like iOS 14, iPad OS 14, macOS Big Sur and so on so that when those products come out people will be able to get them with the latest version or either update them to the latest version so the official release version of macOS Pixel could be on the 17th of September but keep in mind that that could change now when it comes to macOS Pixel beta 6 we expect it to come somewhat slightly smaller than what beta 4 came in as for me it came in around 7.2 gig but with beta 6 it should be slightly smaller since it's going to be more of a bug improvement it's expected to come in at around 5 gig depending on your device that you use and the build number that we are expecting to see here is supposed to have an E or an F at the end indicating slightly better stability compared to what we have here on beta 5. Now these are some of the changes and features that we expect to see when macOS Pixel beta 6 is released. The first change pertains to airdrop improvements. At the moment, if you send a file with airdrop, you are unable to receive it on your Mac that is running beta 5. And also if you do somehow receive it, you find that this is by manually searching for it. Now I did do that and I think my success rate has been less than 20%. I sent like eight files and I've been, I think able to find like one file so far. So airdrop is not working on beta 5 for me. Also, when it comes to the files app, I'm unable to convert or export raw image files as JPEG on beta 5. So if I do convert a raw image to JPEG, it comes up as a blank image, just like this. So if you are experiencing something like that, that is something that we expect to see improve because it's not just me, quite a number of people are reporting this issue. And also perhaps one of the biggest issues with beta 5 is the restart. Now, for me, fortunately, on my 2016 15 inch MacBook Pro, I'm not experiencing restart issues, but I am experiencing airdrop and, you know, files and conversion. So, 
if you are experiencing restart issues when it comes to beta 5 that is a non-issue and quite a number of people i mean there's actually a thread on twitter that is experiencing that restart issue so you're not alone it's a non-issue and it's something that we expect beta 6 to fix the music app on the mac also needs to be improved in terms of stability and overall user experience some users are reporting crashes and sometimes albums won't load up and it won't play music so we expect that to be fixed with beta 6 now also when you are playing 4k video in safari and you enter full screen mode there's actually a big delay or jira when you switch your transition between the full screen to the minimized mode so that is a non-issue and i was experiencing that and i did report it using the feedback app a lot of iMac users aren't able to update, especially those that have the latest iMac. So with beta 6, this is something that would definitely be addressed because Apple can't afford to continue disadvantaging those that pay a lot of money for the latest update and aren't able to update to the latest beta. Unless if Apple is telling you, you know, don't update to a beta, right? But this is something that is known on a large scale. So that should definitely be fixed with beta 6. Also, when updating from beta 4 to beta 5, there's a non issue whereby it takes like two or three hours stuck on the first quarter of the update page so what you can do in that aspect is to just power off your mark and then if that doesn't solve your issue just you know try changing to another wi-fi network and if it doesn't then it's definitely a bug that came with the update and i think quite a number of users are reporting this so it's a non-issue and hopefully with beta 6 they can sort of resolve this because it's been around for some time i think i had this issue when i was updating from beta 2 to beta 3 so hopefully with macOS pixel beta 6 they fix this issue when it comes to the battery icon users miss the old feature where you could just click on the battery icon and then select show percentage now with this beta 5 you actually have to go into the settings and then go into dock settings and then select battery and then select show battery percentage so it's a kind of a long process and it's not something that many people are for so with beta 6 hopefully if there's enough pushback on this apple will bring back the show battery icon or show battery percentage icon closer to the battery there where you see the icon and that would be more convenient i guess even for me and for most people so that's about it in terms of the changes now in terms of new features i really don't think that there will be many because with beta 5 what we need is a stability improvement because this is a bad update and beta 6 should basically just be improved stability and beta 4 was unstable beta 5 even worse so beta 6 we don't need new features it's mostly going to be a stability update now when it comes to battery performance right on my 2016 15 inch macbook pro i actually can't complain i mean there's the it has issues right but my battery has been performing quite okay if i go to the battery section there i actually have been having like six hours of screen on time and that is basically by using like 50 percent or slightly below 50 percent of charge and you can see that it's quite okay now when it comes to overall performance for my mac here i have to say that final cut pro is performing so bad i mean it's terrible it's better to use imovie on macOS pixel beta 5 because i've seen that imovie is more stable here but with final cut pro on beta 5 it's terrible i mean i wish i could go back to beta 4 but that is impossible but basically Otherwise, besides Final Cut Pro, most of the other applications I use on this Mac are working quite okay. So performance wise, it's slightly lower than what I had on Beta 4 because of some of the app instabilities. And yeah, those are mostly some of the issues that I'm facing with macOS Pixel Beta 5 and that we are looking forward to seeing macOS Pixel Beta 6 being released. So that's about it when it comes to the expected release date and also some of the changes or improvements that we expect to see when macOS Pixel Beta 6 comes on. If you like this video, please leave a like and hit subscribe. And I will definitely see you in the next video.